Father, why is it so important for Catholic parents to name their children after saints? And also, uh, one of our viewers would like to know if it is forbidden for Catholics to use more modern names that are not associated with a saint. Such as? You mentioned, <clears throat> someone mentioned Moonbeam. <laughs> Moonbeam, tequila, right? <laughs> Uh, Rasmataz, you know, people like to name them from their favorite movie characters, yes. like, you know, Galadriel and things like that. I mean, you know, come on. That's so superficial, really. I mean, pop culture is going to give you the name of your child. How degrading is that for a child? The reason why the church says give your children a saint's name is because you're choosing a, a, a saint in heaven right now. You're committing your child to their care. And that, that saint in heaven you choose as the patron, really, for your child, for your child to carry that saint's name throughout time, throughout this lifetime. And for your child to know, okay, my patron saint is Saint uh, John of God. My patron saint is Saint John the Evangelist. My patron saint is Saint John the Baptist. They have an, immediately a spiritual connection with a saint that is, it was already in heaven, who is glorifying God perpetually in heaven. And who actually can represent them and pray for them as a chosen patron in heaven for them. What more could a parent want? I should say, what less could a parent want, you know, for a, a child, you know, to find such a, a great advocate in heaven? You know, the church always looks at it from the supernatural point of view. And it says, well, if you're going to choose a name for a child, Pick a name that has a real, sincere, uh, you know, serious meaning. And ultimately, your child is God's child by baptism. And this God's child is destined to be a child of God, not only on earth by grace, but in heaven by the beatific vision. Give your child a name that shows you have an understanding of that. That you understand that that is the destiny of your child. And you're naming that child accordingly, as though you really understand that the child is called to be a child of God in heaven. And you want that child to have an advocate there helping them already. It's the same reason why the church gives you confirmation and choose a confirmation patron, too. Again, to have others in heaven, friends uh, in heaven, as our Lord refers to them, right? In the mansions of heaven, <laughs> to get, who can advocate for you, pray for you, and, and watch over you. It's that, but it's even more because you want the child to grow up with an awareness of the fact that they were, in a sense, dedicated to this particular saint. And you want them to grow up with the idea, with the ideal of that saint in mind. You know, if they, you're given a name, you give your children a name when they're baptized, you really want your child to know who that saint is, they're named after and to know about them, and to admire them, and want to imitate their good example, and follow them to heaven. You want the child to grow up with this awareness, and with devotion, correct? By the way, just to put a cap on this, if you go back in the Bible, you'll find that the Old Testament figures, patriarchs, they named their children, they gave their name, children's name, specific names that applied to their destiny, as they saw it, you know, even prophetic. And they were always... Involved, they always had names that were of some kind of supernatural significance. And so we're basically just following the example of our forebears, not only over the last 2,000 years, but even into, into the Old Testament as God guided them in naming their own children according to their God-given, you might say, destiny or role they would play in life. Mm -hmm. Don't all saint names have to start somewhere, though, Father, if I were to pick a, a moonbeam type name for it? child they went on to become a great saint then wouldn't that provide just another patron saint for generations to come after that yeah well if you want your children to go on to become a saint let them carry that name to heaven with them and then they will be uh, god willing at some point yeah. uh, as you say someone performing the service for them in heaven whom their own patron is doing for them now while they're still here on earth right yeah. i guess that's the point right yeah